everyone, thanks for coming. Just going to go ahead and get this started. So typically, when people run Yeoman, you can fire up an app if you have Yeoman installed. Um, I'm just going to fire up the terminal here. So we'll clear, clear that out. Say yo Angular, and this will generate our Angular app. And I'll just accept everything and let it generate. This will take a second. There's a lot of stuff to, to build and download. All right, looks like we're close. OK, we're done. So from here, um, typically what you do to generate a controller or a route or something, you'd say yo angular route. And then you would you know, name the route like my route. And this would generate your route for you. You could see you now have a, a my route JS. And I can open my route. And you see the files that it generates. So we have the HTML. We have the controller and everything like that. Um, so I just want to show how you can set this up. Instead of running it in the terminal, you can actually run it as an external tool and use keyboard shortcuts and things like that. So I'm not going to use the terminal anymore. We're going to go into our preferences or settings, hop over to the external tools, and we'll set up our first external tool. So we'll click plus here. We'll name this uh, yo route. And we'll put this in a group of yeomen. And the description, we'll just leave that blank. And we'll say the program we want to run is yeoman. And the parameters are going to be a route. And sorry, angular route. And then the name of the route we want to generate. So we're going to insert something called a macro. And we want the macro to be a prompt. So this is going to prompt us to input some text. And the working directory we want is just going to be our project directory. So project path. So we'll insert this so it'll run the command in our project path. Once I click OK, I now have a yo route command, which I can run from an external tool. And the way we can set this up from uh, binding a keyboard shortcut, I'm just going to do all three steps here real quick. So I'm going to create a quick list. I'll come down here and say I want a quick list of yeoman, oops, yeoman, and I'm going to add yo route into my, into my quick list, and then I want to add a keyboard shortcut to my uh, yeoman quick list. So I'm going to right click, add keyboard shortcut, and we'll just make it command shift Y for yeoman. We'll hit apply, and then from there, I can simply say Command Shift Y, and then I have this little prompt here saying I want to generate a route. I'll hit Enter. I want my route name to be some route, and then this will generate the route for me. It looks like I uh, messed up somewhere. No such file or directory. I must have made a mistake in the external tools. So project path. Let's see. Must have done the wrong one for that. It's a project file directory. There we go. All right, so we'll run that again, uh, some route. And that'll generate that route for us. And then we can do the same thing for the other sort of yeoman commands we have. So we'll come in here, create a new name. We'll just name this one uh, controller with a program of yo, the parameters of angular controller and then the macro of a prompt, and then the working directory of my project file directory. Hit OK. Well, let's add this to the Yeoman group. And then go down to our quick list. To our quick, quick list of Yeoman, we'll add our external tools controller, and then our key map is already set up. So from here, we can just say, Command Shift Y, we now have controller as an option. Or if I set up a lot of things in here, I could start speed typing to filter down to controller. And I could just do something like uh, user controller. And from there, it'll generate the user controller for me. And you can see user JS as the controller that it generated for me. So that's the basics of setting up the uh, external tools for Yeoman. You could come into the 
uh, external tools. You can set this up for any sort of command you want to run uh, and for yeoman, yell route, controller, or any of the other ones. Um, I can bring the actual page over here. So uh, filters, views, services, decorators, um, any, any other of these that you want to use, you could uh, generate them as these commands and set them up as that quick list, which you could then you know, invoke and filter through that list and just hit enter, type the name, and you're good to go. So that way you wouldn't have to remember what they all are. Anyway, I'm going to open it up to questions now. This is my first Hangout, um, so I'm not uh, not sure how the quality will turn out in recording or anything like that. Just wanted to test it out for this. Uh, let's see if I can find the uh, QA button. So let's, let's see. How do I? I guess I have to stop the broadcast to allow QA. All right, so I'll stop the broadcast and allow question and answers.